Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue our journey to complete city skylines with a population of 100,000. Today the plan is to expand our city and put in a city zoo. I'd like to change the highway as you can see as we zoom in here it looks a little bit wonky so I'm going to start by changing that and expand on what we already have done we also need to get a railway line coming in onto the opposite side of the city I'm really happy with how things are shaping up so far okay let's just bring this bridge back down to ground level and I've sorted out the terrain, leveled it off so the highway isn't as wonky as it was. And we've got a large avenue going around the outside of this big area here. And in the middle here, I want to build a city zoo and a bit more of a touristy area. But before we do that, I want to get a train line coming in to this little village on the outside of it. If we can continue our train line, perhaps put a train station in just there. And somewhere in the centre of here, I want a large city zoo. And that'll be from the Parks DLC. So this is where our train line currently finishes. And I think we're going to have to go underground here a little bit. Get it to go underneath this roundabout. And continue the line on into our new city area on the other side of the map. Down here, and I want it to curve out a little bit. I've got no way to cross over. I could go over the top, but I don't like going underneath the ground too much with the train lines. I like to see them running around the map. And we kind of do more of the underground stuff when we can put the subways on. So I want this tunnel to come out somewhere around here. Perhaps not underneath that bridge, that doesn't look right. A little bit further on. If you'll let me. Okay, let me go here. Let's just bring it up. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, that's okay. So it just comes out next to the highway here. And we can build a bridge going across the river parallel. Okay, let's just bring it alongside our other bridge. Yeah. That'll do. Yeah, I'm liking that. Fantastic. Okay, and... I'm probably going to have to smooth the terrain here. That doesn't look quite right. So we'll get this mountain smoothed off. And have that track gently curving around. Now. For now, I just want to get a station down over this side. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to run these train lines. But it will certainly ease traffic problems off. Thinking about this stuff in advance. Okay, let's just bring this up a little bit. There we go. More of a gentle slope coming down that way. It looks a little bit better there. So we're just going to curve it around. Hmm. Do I want to curve it more with the road? Going along this way in an S shape. So it kind of follows the terrain a little bit more. Oh, didn't want to do that. I had it marked for curving road. Right, let's try that again. Just click here and then make it into a curve. And that has brought us down to the ground level. Yeah, that's okay, coming in like so. Okay, so it's just a nice gentle curve going along the highway. And I think we'll keep it running parallel to the highway. Just bring it up here. And we'll go underground. 
and for now I think I will curve it round and stop it right on the outskirts of our new town but I am likely to change this and keep it going straight along the highway for now I just want it to stop here so let's stick our station in first and I don't want it too close to the highway we'll have to move the fire station let's just move this a little bit further down um, stick it next to the church I think I might shift this over but for now if we just put it here at this junction and mm, I want it directly opposite the junction let's just move it no not there where these crossings are there we go basically right outside the high school okay and we'll connect it up here It'll be okay for now we need to expand this area before I can do some more Will you let me come under the bridge, please? Let's just go down here. Okay. Go down to here. And then under. Okay, for now, that's a way for citizens to get into this part of town. And if we are going to have a touristy industry over this side, we need some of the citizens from the other side to come here. So let's just put a new line that runs back and forth. Add that stop there. Okay. So that's the line completed. We've now got an extra train running back and forth between our stations. Okay, now, as we can see the traffic coming in on that second roundabout, I don't actually think that's necessary. So I think I'm going to delete that and just turn that into a little curve. In fact, have I got traffic lights down here? It looks, it appears that I have. And I don't even need them. So let's just get rid of that. You can already see it's causing problems for traffic getting in. So normal avenue come out to here and then curve it round just get the curve to the wheel okay so no traffic lights and everything can come in and out okay let's zone some of this area across the highway off and we'll begin building another city okay yeah I think I'm probably likely to put that train station more close to the highway but for now it's great okay so I've just put a solar updraft tower down and I've swapped that round for the oil power plant and that seems to be giving us plenty of power for our city there goes our new train line bringing people in to what is going to be a new touristy section so I've laid down some roads over the back here basically and this area I was thinking about using the zoo. I haven't used the zoo before I've done the theme park and a couple of the other ones but the parks DLC works very similar to how the industries DLC works you have to level it up and it's leveled up by the more visitors you get so let's put a couple of side gates on I think I need another 
road running down the middle here so I can have a gate on all four corners and I'm imagining something quite large here so we need another side gate in the middle so I've used the theme park before but the zoo is one that I haven't unlocked so I figured we'd give it a try right in the centre here hopefully a massive city zoo will attract people to come over to this side okay so we've got an entrance on all four corners and um, what we got here the zoo plaza I imagine we'd probably stick that probably in the middle so let's have some pathways coming out and perhaps like a little bit more curvy don't have to be straight like our roads um, although that is pretty straight let's say um, yeah something like that maybe one curve in the other way something like this yeah okay so let's see what attractions we can put down first well we can put the plaza down we'll put that straight down sort of in the middle there somewhere for everybody to sit have a picnic we've got some tables that's a nice area and we'll get some of the other amenities going going to be quite a big park you're obviously going to have to fence around the outside as well don't want the animals escaping and will you let me line up to the end okay let's go down to there first there we go so we want to lock this all off now we did build a small park down on the other side of the island but that was just a normal city park and let's just do this and then I can use the move it mod to pull the fence down a little bit lower so this one I really want to get leveled up all the way we got plenty of expansion space here and connect it up like so so let's see what other attractions can come in our park let's have a road coming up through here just bending off this way okay maybe the same on the opposite side so what we got here let's put our zoo cafe down somewhere close to the plaza souvenir shop got to have one of those start making some money with that yeah have those things towards the middle of our park and the attractions maybe towards the outside uh, the restrooms, yeah, we'll put a set of them in. We're getting quite close to the plaza. And the moose and reindeer enclosure. Okay, so yeah, this is quite big. It's just as well I did make this quite big. Um, let's try and put it in this far corner here. If you will let me. Yeah. Okay, so that's our moose and reindeer enclosure. Just need to connect that up with a path. I'm going to just shift it over slightly. And unfortunately, it's just deleted the fence. So we need to put another fence down. Where are you? Fence. There we go. Just put that back up. And this maybe just here oh. 
little curve. Okay, there we go. And there's our moose and reindeer enclosure. So it was quite a large asset, that one. What else have we got? Um, the birdhouse, okay. Yep, let's get a birdhouse down. Uh, can put that quite close to the amenities. I'm just gonna move this antelope farm over. Looks a little bit wonky. Straight out. There we go. Perfect. I like the sound of the birds. They sound really weird. Okay. So it needs power, and I'm going to have to zone out a little bit of stuff, perhaps some residential, and then that'll encourage stuff to grow. But we've put as much down on the zoo as we can for now. So we'll just let that run its course and it will eventually level up just as the ore industry has done. Okay, so I'm going to begin by painting a district. So let's get this whole area and this is going to be dedicated to the tourism industry entirely across here. really want to encourage people to come and visit our zoo and if we go into industry or district specializations just along the top here industry so we've got leisure but we want tourism okay I designated that for tourism so hopefully the commercial buildings and things we stick down here will end up springing up as hotels and I'll just bring some power up the back across this highway if I can there we go and in this little corner in front of the zoo I'm going to put a tiny bit of dense residential down and along this avenue, we're going to have plenty of commercial. So let's just zone this section off here. Now hopefully the types of residential building we get look a little bit different as well. They should do. It should look more touristy. a little bit of an uneven surface there so we're gonna have a some smaller dense residential pop up that's good and as soon as that all gets power that's gonna connect it all up to our zoo and along this avenue here I want to put a big stretch of commercial and in amongst this stuff we should see some hotels and casinos and things like that start to spring up along the front here of our avenue. Now we might struggle a little bit to keep it going at first because we're going to need some more highly educated citizens. But we haven't got a university yet. I do plan to build a university, perhaps we're going to have to start thinking about that in the next episode about where we're going to stick our university campus down. But here we go, we've got something going up here. And how's the power doing? I'm just waiting for it to connect. I've got it connected to that little building so it won't be long. There we go. That might have just stretched the power across the road. So we've got a couple of hotels, some casinos going in. A couple of coffee shops just opened up on the front here. And there we go, we just hit a grand city. So that's a population of 17,000. We've opened up baseball parks and a few other things that we can build with here. Probably opened up some more unique buildings, in fact which I haven't really put many down yet. So we have got some options of some different unique things to drop down into our city. But fantastic. 
So a population of 17,000. I'm sure by the end of this episode we're going to be looking around the 20,000 population mark. So about a quarter of our way through our City Skylines challenge, it's safe to say. Well, almost. We have got a demand for commercial and industry. So I might put some offices down the back of these hotels and casinos up here. And just sort of waiting for our zoo to get some more visitors. Hopefully we can level it up and unlock a few more of the attractions inside it. The people are starting to come across here now. If we just go to the park area info down the bottom here, it says we need 500 visitors until the next level. So we've had 13. I've put the ticket prices down. We'll just have to hang tight. Okay, so we've had 500 visitors. We've got a couple of new enclosures we can add to our city zoo. Let's have a look. We have unlocked the insect and amphibian center here. So where about should we put that? Just off this road here, perhaps. Um, I want to utilize as much space as we can. Maybe it'd be more suited in the corner up here. Okay. And we've got the bison enclosure, because that's quite a big one. Um, but we can fit it in. Sort of just here in the corner. It just seems to be snapping to everything. And I just want to get it straight on with the fence and save as much space as we can. There we go. So we've got to connect the pathways. Zoo path. Yeah, we'll just go for the normal path here. So let's connect our reptile cage thing up as well. I was hoping to unlock some lions. Every good zoo's got to have lions in it, hasn't it? Okay. Let's bring that here. And can we get another path running around the back? Gives us another way to get down there. Okay. So everything is leveling up real nice. I'm going to swap these roads and pathways round, get rid of the trees. I think when we've unlocked everything, I can add some more detail. And we'll put our own benches in, but for the time being, we've got to get two and a half thousand visitors to the next park upgrade. So it's going to be a little while before the zoo upgrades again. At the moment, it's got two stars and plenty of reasons to visit. And we'll have to wait until next time until we can level up the zoo a little bit more. Hey, but we got a few visitors coming in. I like it. It does look quite large from the sky. So, some of these buildings are going out of business because they need more educated workers. So that is something I'm going to have to start thinking about for the next episode, is our university campus. I could use the generic university, but being that we've got the expansion and the DLC, I want to experiment with the uh, university campus. So I think that's something we can think about next time, as well as always growing our city. I'm quite happy with everything, how it's turned out so far. And we've got, there we go, 23,000 population. Got another flaming rings there coming in. And I've just got all these residential at the back here. Put the botanical gardens in the middle. So sort of raise the value of these residents just here. 
things are certainly coming along now. I think we can finish off this corner. We've got a bit more demand for residential, so I think I'll just stick it in along this avenue here. Should be heading towards a 25,000 population C. So definitely I think next step next week would be to add the university campus and get some of these citizens educated so our tourist industry and other industries that need higher educated workers don't go out of business like just here. A few of them are surviving because we have got our MIT college in the other city. So there is a few educated workers. Just turn up the electricity budget and that will sort it out for the time being. And next time round we're going to have to think about putting some more power down. And definitely going to be expanding on the university campus DLC. In order to keep our citizens going we are going to have to have some more educated citizens to do some of these higher tech industry jobs and tourism jobs so that's one thing we're going to have to invest in and at a population of 23,500 well we could say we're almost a quarter of a way through our challenge. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you're enjoying the City, City Skylines playthrough from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.